Oh, he's out of shape. Yeah, warning. Keep it tidy, please. Well. All right, guys. Hello. Welcome back to the Ferrari Challenge in iRacing. It's been a hot minute since we've done a race here, but I saw we were at Red Bull Ring this week, which is a favourite track of mine. So I thought, why not jump in and give it a go? So we're starting fifth position on the grid today. We had the top 10 or so all within about half a second of each other with the top five all within about 0.1 or 0.2 of a second. So it should be a pretty close race today, I think. We're on pace with the faster guys here. Okay, so well, hopefully nice we can keep it clean. Hopefully we can have a good one. Hopefully we make it through the first lap or at least the first turn. <laughs> Hopefully we don't jam on the brakes, there we go. All right, we're three wide into turn one. We're gonna take the wide road here, I think. 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Woo! Just made it. No contact. Wow, everybody was super cautious there. More cautious than I anticipated. Trying to get too much wheel spin. Okay. Time to settle into a rhythm now. To suss these guys out. Smooth so far. But we seem to have decent pace. I don't want to try anything silly here. So my trail braking is quite different to Kenneth in front of me. He seems to be braking harder in a straight line, so he's carrying a little less exit speed than I am. So just gonna have to be super cautious of that. Messed up my exit a little bit. It's all right, maybe we can carry a bit more speed through turn one here. There we go. As suspected, so if I can get up the inside of him in turn one, I've got a pretty good chance, I think, because I'm carrying more mid-corner speed than he is. I just don't want to take all race to do it either.
I think the go is going to be to try and get a run out of turn one and then take him in turn two, I think. Well, pitting. <laughs> I wonder what the story is there. Clear right. All right, let's see if we can catch these next guys. Nice front. The leader's just done it. 130.54 P4. The car in front has just done it. 130.70. Fastest lap for Fuller. 130.27. Not the way I wanted to dispatch of Kenneth. That's a shame. What's going to happen here? On your left, clear left. <laughs> Bit of a swoop across there. I've got the pace to get in front of these two, I think. The actor, Nielsen, behind us now, 0.6. This is Justin. Whoa! Don't lose it. Alright, try to carry as much speed as I can through turn one. Seems to be where I'm strong. Awesome battle so far. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. That lap time was 131.32. Can we get him into turn two? Okay, well, keep Tyler on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. <laughs> Had a good look. Didn't commit quite strongly enough there. Need to grow up here, I think. The gap in front is now not protected. All right, let's get as fast exit as we can out of turn one.
right side. Right. 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 The captain, Nielsen, behind is now 0.6. Five minutes remaining. Double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. Ooh. Justin's run a little wide there. All right, we're closer again. Okay, mate, watch for a mistake. That's your fastest lap. No point four. Maximum concentration. <laughs> We're so evenly matched on pace, I'm quicker through turn one and turn two, but it's not quite enough. it again. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. We're going to be coming into the final lap. Now or never. Oh, he's out of shape. They had a cup warning. Keep it tidy. Thanks, well. Oh, did he get a slowdown? I don't know, but I think we can get him. Shame we got a 1x for that though. Didn't really have anywhere to go. On your left. Play your left. Don't cut me off. <laughs> left. 
left side. Still there, clear left. I don't know what to think about that one. Come on, that's the stuff. That was getting pretty aggressive there. I feel like that was my corner then and he just kind of turned in on me. We'll definitely have a look at the replay though. It's going to be a controversial one. Bit of damage. Woo! Third place. Not too bad. Definitely keen to have a look at that incident though. Not sure Great what to think about that one. Podium. I feel like it was my corner. I feel like I had the uh, the inside line there and he turned in on me, but hard to say without looking at the replay. I'm not gonna get cranky. <laughs> because it could well have been my fault. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at the start here in the first part of lap one, where all the exciting stuff happened, and then we'll move on and have a look at some of the incidents. So, Kenneth there, I forgot at the start, he jumped the start there, which was the reason obviously why he came into the pits during the race later on. So obviously he was out of position there when they crossed the line, which was the reason why that happened. Now I had way more speed than I was expecting relative to them. The Delta was uh, massive there coming into turn one, so I was actually lucky I didn't collect Kenneth there, especially given that he had the penalty there. So lucky we all made it through turn one cleanly. The guys behind me were carrying similar amount of speed to me too there, so could have been a nasty accident, but turn one here is always a little bit sketchy, always a little bit risky. Not the best exit out of turn two, but did manage to stay ahead of the Kawasaki there. So start of lap four now, this is where Kenneth had already peeled into the pit, so I was trying to catch up to the next guys in front of me here. They were having a little battle there. Aiden trying to get past. Now, at this point, I was just sort of trying to size up where I was faster, where I was slower, where I could potentially get a move done. So again, they, because they were battling here, it was hard to sort of tell what their actual pace was. But I was kind of getting the picture here that I was carrying a lot more speed through turn one and two, two. You can see I had to stall up there on the apex to avoid contact with Aiden in front of me. But I kind of had the sense here that I might be able to get a move done in either turn one or turn two, or potentially coming into what I'm gonna call turn three, this turn, if I carried enough off the exit of turn two. So just kind of trying to size things up at this point, not wanting to do anything over the top, anything overly uh, aggressive. So lap six now, again, just having a look at my uh, line through turn one and turn two relative to Aiden in front of me. So again, way more speed there, faster exit as well, but just not quite enough pace to get up alongside him. This is probably one of the laps where I could have been a little bit braver. I did have a decent, oh, we we're pretty close there on pace. No, it would have been a big dive. If I'd gone down the inside here, it would have been a big dive. I could have braked a little later than I did, and I probably could have carried a little bit more exit speed than I did there too. You can see he pulled away from me on the exit because I stopped up so much on the apex. And lap eight, this is where I was sort of starting to realize it probably wasn't gonna happen in turn one or turn two, and I was starting to focus on the third tight right-hander. So you can see there again, just trying to get the best exit I can and thinking about lining him up. Just sort of trying to get a sense of where he was gonna break and what he was likely to do. So not attempting a move on this lap, but just kind of letting him know that this is something I was thinking about it, I guess. And maybe that isn't a smart thing to do. Maybe I should have just stayed behind him until I was ready to make a move, just to sort of take him a bit more by surprise, retain, I guess, that element of surprise. But probably gave away my secret a little bit there, I think, if you could call it a secret. And then lap nine, this is where Aiden got way out of shape in the final couple of bends. What happened here? So, whoa, big slide. Oh, he was lucky to hold on to that. Had a lot more pace on the outside there. It actually felt like maybe he'd come across on me a little bit. Let's actually have a look at that and see, because it didn't look like he did from this view. So, oh man, that was lucky. No, I mean, he did move across a little bit to the left there, but I wouldn't say that was anything overly aggressive. You know, he knew I was coming around there and he just covered off the line. I did have to back out, but yeah, nothing wrong with that. And then into turn one, I didn't quite have the speed here because of that bad exit. So it wasn't gonna be a move in turn one. 
so I was running out of options by now. I wouldn't say I was getting desperate because I would have been happy to settle for a fourth place. It wasn't like I was going to send it at all costs or anything like that, but I was still thinking about it. I wasn't giving up by any means. And again, just too far back coming into turn two to really make it happen. But again, focusing on the exit here. And I did get a pretty good exit, which got me alongside him. And this is where the incident occurred. So let's have a look at this. So he's covering off the inside line here. Did end up opening a gap there. So there's a car with gap there and then some. And then what's going to happen here? So, oh, did he turn in? So I'm going to start off with a far chase on me here. Let's see. I'm looking for who hits the brakes first here. So at this point, I was kind of expecting to probably end up tucking in behind him because he was covering off the inside line pretty well. But then he opened up the door for me. Who hit the brakes first? Okay, I was actually on the brakes slightly before him. And then his braking pressure is obviously a lot higher than mine. So I've ended up alongside him here. And by this point, I'm committed. I have to go at least on the inside because I would have run into the back of him otherwise. And then, okay, so there was a little bit of net code there. You could actually see he got some damage and bounced off to the left. I wonder if it looks like he's still in control at this point, but we'll ride on board with him in a moment and see. And then, oh, more net code as well. So, I mean, it's hard to say whether we would have made contact there or not. It did look like he was starting to turn in. And by that point, I think that it's probably my corner. I'm more than alongside him there. And I did, I was gonna make that apex too. So on the brakes, down the inside, all happened so quickly. But yeah, I was gonna make that turn. There was no, I wasn't using him as a battering ram to kind of get through the corner by any means. Let's just ride on board with him and look at his steering inputs too. Right, so riding on board with Aiden here. So I'm coming down the inside now. You guys can't quite see the mirror, but I can. So I'm on the inside. And by this point, it looks like there's already been that net code contact. He looks like he's kind of squirming around. Now he's gone to turn in. I'm right alongside him now. And I mean, maybe he doesn't, if he doesn't have triple screens or a spotter, he wouldn't have known that I was there. But I mean, you know, I'm not really trying to make an excuse there, but oh, it's hard to say because you don't know what level of control he had. It did look like he turned in there when I was already well on his inside. Let's have a look at my inputs as well. See if I did anything erratic. So on the inside, going through, I think by this point, it's my corner. And yeah, I just turned in. I never, I never wavered off that line. I never moved around to the outside, but I think it was probably majority net code there. Let me know what you guys think. I don't think that I did anything wrong, but feel free to roast me if you think I did. But I don't think he really did anything wrong. Maybe he did turn in a little bit, but I don't think any of us really did anything wrong. I think that was probably mostly... I feel like that incident probably wouldn't have occurred if it wasn't for the net code, unfortunately. And then to follow out through to the end of the lap, which is the conclusion of the race, you can see he did actually end up carrying quite a bit of speed. He's probably quite heated at this point, probably quite frustrated. And he did actually end up getting a lot closer to me than I thought he had, so... Let's have a look here. Both carrying a bit of damage, him probably a little bit more so than me way more speed than me through the penultimate corner and then very nearly got the job done but not quite to be and there you go guys that is the race so let's have a look in at the results now okay so second split strength of field 1596 strength of field for the top split was 2500 and let's have a look here how we did. So third place overall, plus 69 on our I rating. Nice. <laughs> uh, minus 0.3 on our license, unfortunately, because of those five incident points, the one off track when we were avoiding Aiden's little mishap, and then the four incident points for that net code there. So that was quite unfortunate. I don't think we would have made contact if it wasn't for that. Hard to say whether he was turning in or not, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt for that one. I really don't think that it was, uh, it certainly wasn't intentional. I don't think I did anything wrong. I don't really think that he did anything wrong either. I feel it's it's just hard to say whether he'd lost control or what was going on with the net code factored in there as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, best lap time wise, how did we go here? So 130.269 was the best lap of the race by Jay Fuller. We had another guy down here, 130.275, Marco Garcia. So some pretty nice laps there. Uh, up in the top pointy end of the field where I was, uh, 130.684 for me, Justin did a 130.587. So I did feel like I had more pace than Justin, but it was hard to say how much of that was him defending versus what his raw pace was because he was battling with Aiden for most of the race there. Aiden's best lap was pretty much identical to mine. And then the leader out there, I don't think I, I probably wouldn't have caught him. If I'd been with him, I probably would have been able to stay with him. 
But, yeah, I don't think I was on for a win in that race. I'm pretty happy with the third place overall. And that is that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I enjoyed putting it together. Leave a fat thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you're subbed as well so you don't miss future racing videos. Like this. And let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see for future racing videos too. Do you enjoy these kind, this kind of format? Would you like to see me maybe do some other types of cars? If so, what kind of cars would you like to see? Let me know and we can hopefully make it happen. We won't be able to please everybody, of course, but I'll do my absolute best. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Thanks for the great racing there too, the guys that I was around in the race. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.